I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here is an excellent example on equilibrium forces which I want to discuss with you. The question here is, three forces, 5 newtons, 8 newtons and 10 newtons act from the corner of a rectangular solid along the edges. Calculate the magnitude of the equilibrate of these three forces. Determine the angle that the equilibrate makes with each of the three forces. So let's try to sketch and then understand the situation. Let's say that is our solid block. The three forces acting are along x, y and z direction. Okay. So let us say, uh, let me sketch the forces now. So 5 newtons, let's say this is our 5 newtons. And then we have 8 and 10. So these forces now can be written as, let me write down here. The net force is combination of all three of them. Now this is 5, this is 8, and that is 10, right? So we can write this as 5i plus 8j plus 10k, where i, j, k are unit vectors along x, y, and z. Now when they say calculate the magnitude of equilibrate, so let's find the magnitude of resultant first, right? So the resultant magnitude is going to be square root of 5 square plus 8 square plus 10 square, correct? So that gives you, let's calculate how much. So within square root, we have 5 square plus 8 square plus 10 square. And that is equal to, uh, okay, so it gives you 3 square root 21. In decimals, it is equal to 13.7477. So let me write 13.75 newtons. Right? So that is your force acting on this, right? So let us say we represent this force with something like this kind of. That is a resultant force in R3. Now, we need to calculate the magnitude of the equilibrate. So when we say equilibrate, so equilibrate force makes it, so when we say equilibrant, it means it is same in magnitude. So it is equal to resultant force, but opposite in direction. right the idea here is that will keep it in equilibrium so the idea is this force so this keeps in equilibrium so you get the concept so these three forces will try to move the object along this side but our force which we are calling as the equilibrant force will keep it at the spec at the stop at the spot without moving so it is going to act in the opposite direction well this is not very accurate it's 3d so whatever you sketch it it cannot really be so accurate right so think like this so but the magnitude is going to be seen so this magnitude let us say force of equilibrium is for us same as 3 square root 21 or you can say 13 point 75 newtons is that clear to you so that is how we are going to find this answer now part b is determine the angle that the equilibrate makes with each of the three forces now in our diagram we'll actually find the angle for the given force and 180 minus that will be the angle for the equilibrate forces right so let's do it on the new page so uh, let me sketch it again here uh, and then we'll figure it out okay so what we had got is something like this the three forces 5 8 and 10 newtons and let's say we had some force this time let me just sketch like this right 
and the equilibrate force which you learned just now should be acting right opposite to it and it has the same magnitude. That is what we have. So what we'll now do is we'll find the angle which this force makes with x, y and z axis. Right? So you get the idea? So we'll find the angle which this makes with the x axis. Right? Maybe let me extend like this. So whichever it makes with the x axis which it makes with the y-axis and which it makes with the z-axis, right? So let me say this angle, okay. So these three angles is what we will find. So let's first find the angles. We call them, see, these are the axes, x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. So we are trying to find the angle for our force with x y and z axis that means we are trying to find direction cosines right so we are finding direction cosines is that clear so you can use the direction cosine formula to find this the formula as such is cos of alpha the angle which the force makes with x axis is equal to uh, a1 over square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square, right? Similarly, you have cos of beta equals to a2 over magnitude of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square and cos of gamma equals to a3 over square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square. Now, basically it is where, where, the, uh, where the vector a, let me say where, where the vector a is basically a1, a2, a3. Clear? In that case, this is the formula. So what we have already got here is our force. And the force is 5i plus 8j plus 10k and we also know that its magnitude is 3 square root 21 we just found is it okay now if i use the unit vector you can see here in that case cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma could be treated as cos inverse of 5 over this right so this is a shortcut method so that is why i'm trying to explain you the concept and then we'll apply it so from here we can find that alpha will be cos inverse of what? 5 over 3 square root 21. Does it make sense to you? This is the magnitude. We already divided by the magnitude, correct? A1, the component, which is coefficient of i, right? That component along i. And beta will be equals to cos inverse of 8 over 3 square root 21 and gamma will be cos inverse of 10 over 3 square root 21. Does it make sense to you, right? So we just need to calculate these values and that is why I'm working with force first, right? So at times you may have to find the angle which the resultant makes. This is the resultant, right? Then we'll work with the equilibrium, right? So let's use the calculator to find the values. So we're doing cos inverse of 5 divided by, well, that was uh, how much magnitude? 13.75. So we're using 13.75, right? Since we just calculated that the force, the magnitude of this force, resultant force was 3 square root 21 newtons or it is 3 point 13.75. So we'll use the decimal number 13.75 equals to cos inverse that gives us the angle and the angle here is 68.67 I'll round it to 7 degrees. Now we'll change 5 to 8 in this right and calculate the answer. Well this is a fast way of doing it right. 54.4 degrees and then we'll change this angle to 10. You should know all these tricks right to save time, especially in the test, time is critical. 
let's write just 43.3 degrees. So what we worked out here is the angle which the resultant makes. Now let's talk about the equilibrant. So the equilibrant angles will be what? So equilibrant angles with, let's call them angle as, let's say theta, with the five force, right? So which is along the I direction. So which is this angle? Will be how much? It will be right opposite. Do you see it is 180 minus that? So it is going to be 180 degrees minus 68.7. Correct? So we'll do this now. So we'll do 180 minus 68.7 to get our answer, which is 111.3. Do you get the idea? So the second force is against the force of 8 newtons, which is along the j direction, right? will be 180 degrees minus beta, which is 54.4. So let's figure this out. 180 minus 54.4 equals to, in decimals, 125.6. And the third force, which is for 10 in the k direction, will be 180 degrees minus 43.3 okay so that is 180 minus 43.3 in decimals 136.7 so these are our answers for the equilibrium right? so the answers are 136.7 125.6 and 111.3 does make sense to you so that is how we are going to calculate this answer. So I hope all these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, it will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.